Hi, my name is Katie Moyer and I am an Area Promotions Director for Powder Blue Productions. Powder Blue Productions is a company that trains everyday people who have a passion for health and wellness and helping others to teach Turbo Kick, Pio, and Hip Hop Hustle. Typically, a person would come to one of my trainings and from 9 to 5 we teach you everything you need to know about Turbo Kick or Pio or Hip Hop Hustle depending on the training that you come to. It's a great day, we have a lot of fun, you learn so much. But the most common question I get on Monday morning is, oh my gosh, it was such a great training, I had so much fun, but now what? And I wanted to share three things that you can do right after a Powder Blue training to really ensure that you're going to be not only a successful instructor, but to really keep you moving forward. I was there too once. I went to my very first training and it's very easy to take that DVD and just throw it to the side. Life is busy. We're all busy. So here are three things that you can do right away to help you move forward and start teaching your Turbo Kit class, your Pio class, or your Hip Hop Hustle class. Number one is practice. And most people think you have to set aside two hours, three hours every day to practice. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about set aside 15 to 30 minutes a day. That could be you're working with the Going for Gold DVD on form and technique. Maybe you're working with the DVD. Maybe you're just sitting in your car and you're practicing the cueing. You're listening to your music. Whatever it is, think of breaking it down into tiny little segments. Practice. The best thing you can do is just work with the DVD. It's a great live version of the class, so not only is it a workout, but it starts your muscle memory and it just kind of gets you in the groove, especially with the 32 count as well, because that's really important with Turbo Kick. The second thing you're going to want to do is find a mentor. Some people are fortunate enough that they are able to take classes with their mentors. So you can go and, and not just be a participant, but think about all the things they say, not just the technical cues, but the motivational cues, how do they carry themselves, what's their presence, why do you love them so much. That's a huge part of it. And if you don't have a mentor, watch the videos. Just because your mentor isn't exactly right in front of you doesn't mean that they can't help. So when you are watching the DVD, think about the cues that Shaleen is using. Think about the cues that anyone who's leading, what is something that they say that just gets you fired up? Think about those things because it can really help impact how you want to teach your classes because whatever fires you up connects with you in a way that is gonna be sincere and genuine and you want to show that in your classes. So that's number two. Number three is just go and teach. And this kind of goes along with finding a mentor. If you can find a mentor who will let you teach section by section, that is the best thing you can do. I was so lucky to have my mentor, Christy Andringa, allow me to teach just the kicking section for turbo kick. Because if I would have tried to have taught an entire class with all the layers of everything, I would have been so overwhelmed. I was already nervous enough for my very first class, but fortunately, my mentor allowed me to teach just the kicking section. Sometimes she'd let me just stand up in front. Sometimes that's just enough. You have to get comfortable being in front of people. The warm-up is the easiest thing to start memorizing. The biggest piece of advice, as I always tell people, is in the first two weeks, just memorize the warm-up. If you know the warm-up, like the back of your hand, when your nerves start to get a hold of you, hopefully your muscle memory takes over, and then you're not as stressed. So those are my three tips. On Monday morning, right after a powder blue training, you're like, okay, so now what? I'm so fired up. What do I do? Practice. Use the DVD, especially use it as your workout for the day. I mean, it's such a great live class to take if you're traveling or it's raining outside or whatever. Just practice. Think about form and technique. Going for gold CD. That is golden. Duh. That's why it's called going for gold. Um, and then find a mentor. And again, it doesn't have to be someone live if you're in a town where there is no turbo kick pie or hustle. Watch the DVD. Connect with someone that you really find fires you up and think about why you love them. Try to emulate that. And the third thing, just go teach. Don't wait for perfection, you just gotta do it. Try to break it down little bits by little bits, teach for your friends. Whatever's just gonna get you to get out and just teach. Do something, speak in front of people, and have some fun. So those three things, practice, find a mentor, and just go teach. And I promise you, it will come. No one is a one-hit wonder. I wasn't, I know if you talk to any APD out there from Powder Blue Productions, even Shalene herself, they'll, they'll tell you, no one's a one hit wonder, you're not going to teach one class and be absolutely amazing. It takes time, 
So just think of this as, an, as being a part of a really great journey and you're just kickstarting it with these three steps. Thank you.